Hey guys, it's Maite. Welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to spread some love in the planner community today, as well as offer some words of encouragement. Now this video is 100% inspired by Cindy's video from Llamas Love Lettering. If you don't know who she is, which I'm sure you do, I will link her video on this topic down below. Please go check it out. But essentially what's going on is that YouTube has moved the goalpost to be able to monetize your video. So even if you complied with the old requirements to monetize your videos, until you meet the new requirements, you will not be able to monetize your videos. Now, from a financial standpoint, it's not really affecting too many people necessarily, just because if you hadn't reached those milestones yet on YouTube, you probably weren't bankrolling it, at least from AdSense on the platform. However, it can be really demoralizing and it can feel like the platform is against you, especially when you're putting out content, you don't feel like people are seeing it and you don't feel like YouTube really wants to push your content. Now, if I can just give you a couple words, if you have a channel and you're feeling really discouraged because you don't meet these requirements and or you want to start a YouTube channel and you feel discouraged by these new requirements, please don't let that stop you. Actually, now in YouTube's entire history is the best time to start a YouTube channel. A lot of their algorithm is actually great for new creators. It doesn't necessarily prioritize people based on subscriber counts. It uh, prioritizes you based on engagement if people in your niche are watching you. And that's very, very different from, I don't know if people remember when you went to your watch page and you only saw people that you were subscribed to. Now there's so many people who show up on my watch page, people I've never even seen, people with super, super, super tiny channels and people with really, really big channels. It's just based on who you watch and YouTube really just wants to keep people watching videos on the platform. Obviously it's how they make money. And a lot of what's going on is them trying to please the advertisers, the people who pay for for ads here on the platform. As we've known, YouTube has kind of had a problematic year, especially when it comes to content here on the platform. And that makes advertisers and people putting money into the platform very shaky to see if it's viable that they want their ads running on YouTube. And of course, the world goes round on money and YouTube doesn't like that. This is not necessarily a personal attack on smaller creators. It's just such a massive platform. There's millions and millions of hours of watch time going through YouTube. YouTube every single day. I, the statistics are just mind blowing. There's not necessarily a perfect way to sift through all that contact content problematic and non-problematic and see what goes through. So basically YouTube's trying to make it harder for you to prove yourself on the platform so that can be sifted through more easily. Obviously this disproportionately affects a really small community like ours. I mean, if you think about it, I would guess that uh, the planner community is probably between 70 and 100,000. And even though that seems really big, especially when you're, you know, in the Facebook groups, on YouTube, on Instagram, however, on the grand scale of YouTube, that is a blip on the radar. I mean, it's like really insignificant and that sucks because I think that we put out probably like the best content here on YouTube. It's instructional, it's creative, there's like how to's everybody has something different to add and say and again it's non problematic content really positive stuff going out there into the universe and I think that's what YouTube is about so that being said I chose a couple planner youtubers to highlight in this video I wish I could have put everybody here in this video but that would have been two hours long and not very effective so please please if you have a planning YouTube account leave it in the comments down below or if you watch someone and you think they may be affected by this please put them in the comments down below as well even if you spammed other people's videos with them I feel like not enough spamming as possible when it comes to something like this because the more people who see it the better it is for those creators so please please don't forget to comment those down below. Now I picked people who do happy planning, Erin Condren, Bujo, Traveler's Notebook, uh, planning, plan with me's, sticker hauls, just everything you can imagine. I think it's a little microcosm of our planning community as a whole. So when you're done with this video, go subscribe to their channels, like their videos, comment, Remember that YouTube pushes the content that a lot of people want to see. So if we make a huge push for these creators, I think the planner community will be in a much bigger spotlight in years to come. So without rambling on, here are the planner girls you should be watching right now. I hope you're 
you're doing amazing it's so good to be back wow so here i just i'm trimming trying different stuff from my stash as well and the toaster one the toast uh, card was sent by my sister and here i'm just filling out the pockets some of the goodies like that little envelope and those little dots and heart shapes came in the Rebecca Hood kit. That little letter as well. And then I'm using some things from my own stash, like that little envelope. And I'm gonna put goodies in there. And I'm gonna tape it down with a simply gilded tape. Hi guys, and welcome back to the ADD Planner. I'm Leisha, and this, dear friends, is not a weekly plan with me. This is my month at a glance in my Erin Condren life planner. So here's a little confession. The only things I map out on a monthly basis is my budget. But as you know, recently things have been getting very hectic around here, which leaves missed appointments, forgotten birthdays, and no deadlines to finish my own personal goals, like whatever happened to that blog. <laughs> so I have to get my life together. The first thing I am working on is timing. Hi everybody, it's Nicole. Welcome back. Completely forgot that Sunday was Super Bowl Sunday, so I put down that grocery bag that's also from GP Sticker Studio. It's from a separate grocery sheet that I have, um, and I use that to mark meal prepping and um, grocery shopping, but as far as the Super Bowl, I think we're having people over. We're not 100% sure yet, but I'll end up removing that and just putting down a half box or whatever to mark whatever it is that we end up doing. I can't believe I forgot about the Super Bowl. I love this kit so much. Her original artwork kits are some of the most beautiful kits I've ever seen. Hey everyone! If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I do too though is this is pretty broad like this is for the 2018 year as a whole so this is the entire year but i think that in order to be successful i think i need to break it down better monthly so i'm going to make sure to keep this in my planner every single month and i need to i need to see this often this needs to be viewed daily i almost need to put that on my calendar like look at your goals reevaluate your goals make sure that you're on course for your goals and make sure that you're doing it and i feel like if i can look at this daily i will absolutely accomplish what i need to so i have all my dashboards cut out and i just tried to select um, areas that I liked more and then I think this one because I don't really like this yellow grid will go on the inside of my dashboard that has stickers on the inside so they'll cover that my channel so I am gonna put this little thing down right here for exercise because I am starting a little challenge in February um, so I'm gonna do that I'm going to the beach in March um, and I want to lose a little bit of weight I've kind of been talking about that for a little bit for a while now um, but I want to lose just you know a little bit of weight before I go to the beach um, so I have that on there because this is also very functional for me. But at the same time, I'm like, that's going to be a real good Instagram photo, girl. Real good one. 